Hello everybody, this is your boy Saad. In this video I want to show you that I have built a store with Generates Press and Generates Blocks. Let's check this store out. Okay, so I want to show you that what plugin I have used to build this beautiful store and what kind of CSS I have used, what the product categories, how they are displayed and the images the product shadows background the button the hover colors and the background shadows stuff like that and the footer area okay so let's start one by one so we have this header right here i simply have the this beautiful background color with written with the css you can see the color code is right here if I can show you this is the color of the background for primary navigation and basically I have imported the site library from generates press so and this is an attractive store this has around 10 or 11 products basically I am doing drop shipping on this store and I have these kind of shadows also i have the related product section so you can see here that when you hover on the image you have a very beautiful animation on the button so you can buy now at to cart also let me show you my checkout page if i click on buy now and it will redirect me you can see the checkout page is beautifully designed with generate press the flutter wave payment gateway is also integrated and you can enter in the address for example and then click on place an order it will place the order for you now let me show you what kind of plugins I have used on this website so I'm gonna just quickly log into the website and show you exactly what I have done with this website so I'm gonna log in this is a very simple and clean website If I can show you, this website has not many plugins installed in it as they have the chance of vulnerabilities and the malware attacks. So I'm not even using a heavy cache plugin like WP Rocket and stuff like that. The website speed is also good. We're gonna go to plugins and then let me show you how many plugins I'm using. Okay, I'm using six plugins, they are active which is GP Premium, Generate Press Premium, Buy No Button for WooCommerce. This is basically needed for the customer who just want to buy the product, not to add the product into the cart section. So I have WooCommerce plugin, WooCommerce Flutter Wave, and the backup plugin, the BP Form Lite, is used to uh, submit the contact form on the contact page. So uh, that's it. If you have anything to ask about this store just comment down below i will try to answer every question i can see that we have only one theme which is general press also i'm using some elements in this theme close summary wrap gallery stack who breadcrumbs now this video is going to be super long if i just start to discuss on all these things so that's all i hope you like this video and sub to the channel would be perfect take care and goodbye